guys, I wanted to do an unpacking video for you on the Jujube Be Right Back, or sometimes called just BRB. This is in the pink pinwheels print. Um, it doesn't come across as pretty in pictures as it is in person, was my first impression of this particular print. Um, it looks like more of a reddish pink in pictures, but in person it's kind of more fuchsia pink. Um, it's really pretty, a lot prettier than I was expecting, and then just gray and white. Um, this is um, packed up for an all day out with uh, myself and my three-year-old and my nine-month-old. Uh, my three-year-old is uh, still using pull-ups and my nine-month-old is breastfed. Um, so that does, I know, make a difference for some people's packing styles. Um, quick review on the bag and first impressions so far. Um, I had a really difficult time packing this bag. It's not as intuitive, um, in my opinion, as some of the other uh, Jujube bags. It's um, got a lot of pockets and a lot of, you know, organizational features, but it just didn't jive as well with my packing style initially. Um, so far, it's not one of my favorite bags. Um, I really like the style of it um, as, you know, a bigger backpack, um, but I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, my other first impression on this bag was that it was a lot smaller than I was thinking it would be, not in a bad way. Um, I just thought it would be maybe a few inches bigger, um, and it's, it holds a lot, but I, I was just uh, surprised. And to show you kind of for a size comparison, this is an older style backpack, but um, this is my QGB, uh Mini B 1.0. So I mean, it's definitely bigger than this bag, but I was, I don't know, thinking it would be a couple inches taller. Not that that makes a huge difference, but just my kind of surprise. Um, so I really wish this print would come across um, in pictures for you guys, you know, on video as it is in person. So if you haven't seen it, um, you should really give it a try. It's actually quite pretty. All right, so go ahead and get started if you're not familiar with this style. Um, there are several pockets. There's a little flat pocket here, a mommy pocket, um, a felt line zip pocket, a main compartment pocket. Um, it's a little uh, small pocket up here, kind of similar to the uh, Mini B 1.0. And then, oh, this is actually really heavy. Um, on the side here is just where the change pad goes. So I'll actually go ahead and take that out. It's just a memory foam uh, change pad. I just went ahead and kept it in there, uh, mainly for <laughs> the extra cushioning uh, on the back. Um, I do have a disposable change pad in my diapering kit, but you know, we could use a little extra cushion. This bag is quite heavy. Um, but it is memory foam lined um, on the back here and on the straps, so that's a nice feature, and these straps are adjustable. Okay, so we'll go back uh, to the front. On the side, I just have a um, water bottle for myself. Uh, I think it's about a 16 ounce, and then a little water bottle for my daughter. Uh, hand sanitizer, of course. Um, and then, in the uh, very front pocket here, um, this is kind of an uh, easy access pocket in my opinion. There's a snap closure here. I'm not a big fan of this closure so far because you kind of have to line it up just so to get it to uh, latch. It, it is a strong magnet so it's not super hard, but I really like the older style where the magnets were just kind of in the fabric. Um, though I know that caused uh, an issue with the fabric uh, wearing over time, but it was just so much easier in my opinion. Um, but in here I just have my little med kit, um, so it's easy access just for little scrapes or boo-boos. Um, there's a boogie wipe in front, but antiseptic, alcohol, band-aids, neosporin, all the stuff you might need for a little minor scrape or bruise or boo-boo. Um, in the mommy pocket here, this zips all the way down, um, and it is gusseted, which is nice, so all your stuff doesn't come uh, tumbling out. Kind of give you a better view here. This is my least favorite feature of this bag, 
and I will tell you why. It is really long and I do not like that. Um, I think it's harder to find things um, and it, it creates more of a black hole effect. And I'm not really fond of the organizational pockets and yeah, I made it work but eh, not my favorite. Um, so there is a key fob which I do have my keys on with my Steve Glass keychain. Um, my wallet is just kind of thrown at the bottom here. Um, it does kind of fit and tucked nicely there, but I don't like that it's so far down. Um, kind of makes it harder to find. Uh, for me, there is uh, one mesh pocket here. Um, and that, yeah, this is to get out. Um, it's just like my little mommy pouch. Uh, I have just hair tie, panty liners, tampon. Uh, in there and then I also have a little jujube coin purse this just has my extra cards that don't fit uh, in my little wallet so those I mean they do fit in there it's just kind of hard to get out and they're all the way down there I don't know. not a fan uh, this little pocket here is quite cute but it's also kind of hard to get stuff out uh, I have my med kit or medicine kit in there um, and my other bag is it goes in like a zippered pocket in the mommy pocket, which I like a little better because it keeps it um, a little more out of the way of prying uh, children's hands. Uh, here it's a little easier to grab. I don't particularly care for that. Uh, pack of gum fits in there, and then my chapstick. Um, yeah, and all cute. This is just kind of tight. I don't know about that. Okay, this is like a sunglass pocket, but I don't really like keeping my sunglasses here in case they get hit and they're big. Um, so I just put a bunch of stuff in here. Tied to go pen, regular pen, lotion, a little sunscreen uh, stick for my kids, baby gamics, and a little sample size sunscreen for me. Um, and that's all I have in the mommy pocket. Finally, stay pocket. <laughs> I'll move on to the little felt line pocket here. I just have my phone. Uh, it's an iPhone 6. It kind of barely fits in there, but it does fit. Um, if you had a bigger phone, maybe a 6 Plus or one of the Galaxies or something, you could probably just toss it in the front pocket here, just somewhere where it's easy to access, or even a side bottle pocket I like using for my phone sometimes. fits nicely in there, uh, depending how you're packing the bag. Um, and this top zip pocket, this is my favorite pocket on this bag um, and on my Mini B. I really like this because it is a really great place to keep wipes. Um, I have all my wipes in here and a pack of tissues, and it doesn't go down too far, um, about, eh, about right here, so about a third of the way down, um, but it's a nice size pocket, um, unlike the Mini B 1.0, this isn't a uh, nicely plastic line, but it, it's still lined well enough to keep uh, any kind of drips or spills out of the way, but I like the ease of access, so I have boogie wipes, moist wipes, um, can of face wipes and tissues and all that fit in there room to spare i could throw some just regular baby wipes in there too if i wanted um so that is my favorite pocket um, on this entire bag okay here's my next problem with this bag um and this is kind of a problem for a lot of people uh in this main compartment there are no gusseted sides so when you go to open this so i'm going to lay it down first all your stuff will kind of spill out if you open it all the way, um, which it's a nice feature for certain scenarios um, if you can, you know, open the bag the whole way. Uh, but if you're, you know, having the bag on a stroller like how I would normally use it, um, it's going to make it a little harder. The gusseted sides, you know, would allow you to kind of pull it open like this and uh, access stuff without all that spilling out. Now you can pull, I mean the zippers do kind of stay pretty well, so you still can pull it like that, but it, the opening doesn't go as wide. So um, I know a lot of people have a problem with that. There are um, wonderful customs uh, ladies that will, um, I know uh, Vera Le Fowler uh, does gussets. Um, both uh, permanent and like ones with a zipper that look great. I would love to have that done um, just, you know, as an option for easier opening. But right now I do not have it that way. So I am just, I have this packed like stacked up so I could grab stuff out just pulling this down a little, mainly uh, my diapering kit. Um, but I'm just going to lay it flat to show you how I have it packed. Um, actually we'll go this way. So in here, See, I don't really like this either. 
<laughs> it's going to take me a while to love this bag. Um, so there's a mesh zipper pocket here. Um, in here is just my activities for my kids. Um, just to keep them busy if we're at a restaurant or wherever they're getting restless. A um, bunch of toys in this little travel on packing cube for my son. It's packed pretty full. Um, so like a teething ring, some regular rings, this little alligator teether thing he loves, and a little car. He loves to spin wheels. Um, fits pretty nicely in there. I really like these packing cubes. Um, they're really slim and uh, they hold a lot of stuff. This is a custom piece which I love um, in the C ammo print and uh, it just holds um, some coloring things for my daughter. A couple uh, little coloring books from the play packs, a little notepad, um, some crayons, uh, this is like a little uh, travel q-tip holder and I do have some stickers in there as well for her. All right. Then um, we'll work top down from in here. So this is kind of how it's stacked up. As you can see, I do have a fuel cell in here, so it does fit. Um, so that was nice. Um, it holds basically the same amount as a pack B. I'll do a comparison video um, later. So that's a plus. They're, you know, have the same carrying capacity. Uh, so the top here in the C ammo, uh, I just have my diapering kit. Um, so I have a um, little disposable change pad, um, but like I said, there is the memory foam change pad that goes in the back here. Uh, two uh, size 4 T5T pull-ups, uh, two size 3 diapers, a pack of wipes, some of the disposable trash bags, and then tucked on the side, oh, fill them I have my hand sanitizer. I also have one on the outside of my bag too. You can never have too much hand sanitizer with small children. Um, there's also this um, elasticy kind of band here. This is the uh, pocket that I had my wipes in that you could tuck something under. I didn't choose to put anything there. It didn't really work um, for anything I needed. Um, on the side here, I have a large set piece on the Chaco Cha Cha, which is a really fun print. Uh, the brown and teal. This just has extra clothes for my kids, so I have a size 5 outfit for my daughter, shorts and t-shirt, um, and carters, a uh, pair of undies, a uh, little romper for my son, 12-month carters, and a little pair of socks for him. That all fits in there nicely. I could probably shove something else in there if I, if I needed to. Um, and I have my fuel cell. Um, this is packed with a boatload of snacks uh, for my daughter, myself, uh, my son, and then uh, two bottles. They're empty right now, but uh, this is what I would carry for um, most of a day out with my son. Uh, if he needed more, you know, I could always just uh, feed him straight from the tap, so to speak. Um, but that's all I would carry in a fuel cell, and there's still room. I could fit another bottle in there if I wanted, you know, depending if I thought I'd be out longer. Um, so that fits in there nicely. And then the only thing I have left, um, just sunscreen. I always like to keep it in a plastic bag in case it spills. And then my small set piece, which right now is um, my on-the-go teething kit for my son. So just his favorite teething toy, um, teeth relief, uh, it's a little natural herbal topical ointment uh, for pain, and some ibuprofen and a syringe, again, in plastic bags, just so I don't ruin anything if they spill. Um, and I toyed with the idea of putting this in the front mommy pocket. I don't know. Um, I kind of don't like the bulk of it in that front pocket, but for right now I'm going to try it um, back here. Uh, he's not teething quite as bad right now, so maybe I can get away with that. But anyway, so that is how I have the bag packed up. Um, as you can see, I'm not exactly a huge fan of this bag yet. Um, it has a lot of potential. I think it'd be great for a lot of people. Um, it's just not really a great bag for me. Um, for an all day out, it is pretty good. I just don't generally like to carry bags on my back too much. Um, you know, if I'm out, it's probably going to be on the stroller. So I don't know, but we'll give it a try. Um, that's how I have it so far. Um, and you can see, I mean, it fit all my regular stuff. Like I said, the same amount of stuff I would have in the pack of Um, and just a little bit more, honestly, than is in my Hoba Bee, um, excluding the fuel cell. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and thank you so much for